With state and federal budget cuts, sports and arts are the first to go. We're also losing our basic learning tools. Fortunately, there are community organizations that are helping to support us to gain a better learning experience. As we continue to explore the teen experience here in Willow Glen, we're at the Willow Glen High School Library with Maria Fox, who's the president of the Middle School High School Foundation. Maria, welcome. Thank you. So how long have you been president of the foundation? This is my second year. And why are you president of the foundation? Um, I had been president of the middle school PTA, and when that term ended, uh, I, have, I had already been on the board for the foundation, and I was, that president was terming out, and I was asked, would I be interested? And I said, well, yeah, I thought it would be a pretty good thing to do. I was interested. So how long have you lived in Willow Glen? Oh, boy, I have been here for maybe almost 30 years. And do you have children that have gone through the educational program? Yes, yes. Um, I have two guys here at the high school. They're sophomores, they're twins, and they went to Bookson Elementary School and then through Willow Glen Middle School, and now we're at the high school. You've got your hands full, don't I you? I do. <laughs> so what is it that the foundation does? Well, it is about two things. It's about community and it's about raising money for the middle school and the high school. And it's hard to say, well, the money part's really, really important, but it's also important that the whole community supports the schools. So how is the foundation different from other fundraising organizations? Well, the middle school has a PTA and the high school has a parent club, and the foundation bridges both the middle school and the high school. And so we, when we raise money, we pull from those populations as well as our larger community, but we can also do joint funding with the PTA or with the parent club, or we can just do it on our own. So what is it exactly that the foundation funds? What we've done is we've bought a couple thousand library books, um, laptops, uh, smart pads, things like that. Does that make sense? It does. Okay. So if, if the foundation weren't here, where, where would these things come from? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. They, so, they might not be here. So there isn't the funding right now coming from the state or federal government to support a lot of these uh, things? No, no. And as long as my guys have been in school, the education budget has been under fire. It's all, so I'm really not sure what it would be like if there was enough funding for our public education. And one of the things that I think is really interesting um, in my years of uh, parent parental involvement at the schools and raising money is it's a fine line that you have to walk because you don't want to send the message to your district or to the state that it's okay, cut the budget, we'll replace it out of our own pockets. Public, The public should pay for public education and it's feels like it's getting to a point where that's not happening. So how does the foundation raise its money? Um, well, we, we will take money from anybody, pretty much, and we look everywhere. But uh, we have three main venues of funds. We do a membership drive, which is pretty much the beginning of school through September, October. Then we have a big wine tasting, which is this year a tasting because there's beer involved, and that's in November. And then in the spring, winter spring, we do a call to action letter. Hey, tell me a little bit more about that wine tasting. Uh, the, the, some of the wineries that'll be um, at the uh, wine tasting this year are Stroth Hall mm -hmm. and Trey Ricci, who've been uh, very loyal to us. They, this, I think, is maybe their third or fourth year, mm -hmm. each of them. Last year, Catherine Kennedy sent some wines, and we've asked again this year, but I'm not sure that's going to happen, but it would be nice if it did. Uh, Joseph George will be sending a nice Sauvignon Blanc, and uh, Coteré mm -hmm. uh, it will be coming, and I believe Pietra Santa. And those last two, I think, are Willow Glen uh, wineries or winemakers. So that'll be a lot of fun. And Charais uh, will be uh, bringing chocolates, which they have done for about four years now. It's wonderful. Um, and he just has a little table of chocolates to taste. And there will be uh, beer. That's sort of a new 
Um, it's an expansion for us. Last year it was just Gordon Biersch, but this year uh, Rock Bottom Brewery will be joining them, so we'll have a little beer garden. And it will be in the Willow Glen branch of the Public Library, which is a beautiful um, place to have that because it has nice areas that you can sort of um, separate out and be a lot of good food and desserts and then many items to uh, spend money on, which is the whole point. So if people would like to get more information on the foundation mm -hmm. or on your fundraising events, where would they go? Well, you could go to our foundation website, which is uh, willowglenfoundation.org. And, um, or you can just go to the Willow Glen High School website and it will link you over to ours and you can buy tickets online. This is pretty shameless, isn't it? You can buy tickets online or if you know anybody who's involved with the foundation, you can grab them and they'll, they'll sell you tickets. They are, because I know you want to know this, $60 a piece, $10 of which goes to the public library. So that's our giving back. And Maria, shameless for a good cause. Well, yeah. yeah. Our, our kids are yeah. worth <laughs> they, they are. They are. Maria, thank you very much for the work that you do as president and the work that the foundation does. And we really appreciate you taking the time with us here at Willow Glen Emotion. Oh, well, you're welcome. We think that our kids are our future. And if we don't invest in them, we, we're all sunk. And I agree 100%. So I think that's why we do it. And I work with a really fantastic group of people. Good. Thank okay. you. You're welcome.